How is it going everybody? AB Rhombus here. I think where we left off last episode of Project Zomboid, the story of Shirley Jackson, was we were trying to loot and we couldn't kill a thing. We couldn't take out any zombies. So I think what I want to do this episode is I want to mix it up from last episode. Last episode we were planning on looting for a little bit, then building up our wall. But unfortunately that didn't work out. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear the area, continue building up the wall, and with a little bit of time afterwards, we will focus on loot it at the end of the episode instead of the beginning of the episode. So I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing great. I am ready to start working on this wall again. Let's equip this sucker in both hands. Bah. But, you know, I, I actually want to go back to the crowbar. I do want to clear out the area. Because if you guys were watching last episode, there's more and more zombies showing up. And I don't feel good about it. So we're just going to try to scope out the area here. Okay, we're going to stay tight to the building because we don't want anybody coming through the woodwork on us. We're going to look at the street to make sure there's no goofballs down here. We're just going to do a full trip around our pad before we start working because we're not getting snuck up upon we're not going to go out like that like a bunch of chump rookies you know that's just not who we are we got four walls up and we worked our tail off to get those walls up we're not giving up now no siree so i'd like to get at least two more walls up if not more by the end of this episode and hopefully we can go find a good place to loot nearby and I think one of our biggest priorities is finding another axe I think if we can find another axe that'd be really really good for us because as soon as this axe is done we're stuck you know we are absolutely stuck so we're, we don't have enough we don't have enough logs yet right, it's not our first rodeo we know we don't have enough logs yet I got a really, really bad feeling that one of these times, one of this, one of these times, I guess, carrying these logs around, she's going to get hurt. I can just see it. I can see her pulling a hammy, tearing a hammy, and ruining the rest of the playthrough. I can see Shirley Jackson letting us down. But we're going to cross that bridge when we get there, aren't we? Yes, we are. What we're going to do, we're going to build us. Oh, we need, to, we need to make some sheets. We can do that, I think. I thought we could do that with our with our bath towel. Here, let's move it. Maybe we can do it over here. I don't know. I don't know. It's being weird. And we got all this food. What are we doing? What is all this stuff in our inventory? What are we doing? We are not starting off on the right foot. I feel like we need to drop these logs right here we may need to go hunting for some sheets okay they're right there so we're good thought I lost them a little concerned what are we doing I can't believe we just left stuff like that I cannot believe that we are better than that I am better than that and I apologize I think I think I think I just forgot it because it was in our our bag. Put the steak in there. I'm just going to throw vitamins in there because I'm not really concerned about that right now. And then bacon. Hopefully we can find some sheets. Because I think we need more sheets at this point. We may be looting first today, ladies and gentlemen. We may be looting first. Dish towel. I. We can dry ourselves. Fantastic. Okay, sheets. Right, we're going to rip them all. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Now sheets are a very important item that we need to find looting in a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat again because suddenly in here ripping sheets she got hungry. We're going to eat all. Going to eat both oranges to get, you know, full. 
doing our best thing. That's another thing I wanted to talk about this episode that I'm noticing in a lot of my videos that I am trying to stop doing. Please help me out here. I keep saying, you know, and I keep saying, you know, a lot. I'm getting tired of it. I like to think I removed a lot of the uhs, a lot of the ums, and a lot of phrases that are, you know, stuff like that. But I keep saying, you know, and I just caught myself doing it again. So I got an idea. So how about you guys, if you guys are looking for something interesting to do while you're watching the video, count the number of times I say, you know, in the video. No, we don't want to solve those. Count the number of times I say you know in each video and let me know in the comment section along with whatever comment you have if you want to help out a little bit. Because I am going to eliminate that bad habit for my videos. For the better of my viewers. And for the better of the channel. Because that's not okay. I'm getting tired of it. I notice I'm doing it. I would really like to stop. Sometimes you know is appropriate, right? There's a times where when saying, you know, is absolutely appropriate, at least in my opinion. But I say it probably a good dozen times each video and I'm getting really, really tired of it. So if you guys want to help, feel free in the comments section below. Let me know how many times I say it in, the, in this episode and in any other video until we get it under control. Because my goal here is to keep getting better. And the only way I can keep getting better is to focus on my weaknesses. And that is absolutely one of my weaknesses. So we're going we're gonna to get better. We are going to get better. So now we're going to have our second wall up for the day. What we're going to do after this is we're going to go looting and we're going to try to find some sheets. That is what we're going to do. We're going to try to find some sheets today. And maybe another axe. How awesome would that be if we got another axe? That'd be great. Excuse me, I'm going to take a drink. If you know, I am actually recovering from the flu. From a mama ma the flu. It's pretty rough. It was a pretty rough day or two. But I think we're finally over it. I think we're doing well. And throat's a little bit sore. So I'm feeling a little bit parched sooner than normal. So excuse me if I take a drink or two during the next couple of videos. So like I said, the biggest things that we can find are sheets and another ax. I think that would be a big deal. Oh. Oh, he's just hopping the fence. He can't really see us. He doesn't know what's going on. He's like, let's clear him out. I'm tired of seeing these buttholes walking around here ruining our day. You want some? Bam. Come on, sweetheart. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come on. I just hit you through a, I just hit you through a fence. Look at that blood on the fence. That's yours. That's yours, sweetheart. Get down, please. She doesn't not want to sit down today. This girl's taking a beating. Can we, like, just, like, rest here? <laughs> Grab corpse? Ew! No. I guess we're checking these corpse. I don't think there's really a whole lot that you can get from them. Can we, can we, like... No, there's no way. Rip sheets from sweaters? Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Can you rip this? Oh, baby. Look at this. We are... I did not know that. I was just sitting here. I'm like, maybe? Possibly? I think if we get into a place that doesn't have any zombies. Come on, I'm hitting the fence. I want you to come over. Why don't you come over, Grandpa? Shirley Bonds says hello. All right. What is this place? Have we been in here yet? I don't think we have. But I'm not too sure of what we're going to find here. So we're going to check it out. Then we're going to go back home and call it a day. Maybe I'll... No, I don't think that's a good idea to finish the episode in here. It doesn't... I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense. So we're going to not do that. That's creepy. 
Ooh, ooh, that's an opportunity to chill. Maybe we should just like sit here, like a rest for like a couple minutes. Rest. Come on, Shirley. Don't get caught by zombies. The music kind of scared me. We just took a break. We literally just rested. What more do you want? Bathroom? Okay. Whoa! That was terrifying. She didn't even know we were here. We almost bumped into her. Okay, that's not fair. I just swung at her. And it didn't affect her at all. That was a scary moment. I hope we're not hurt. Okay. So we just shut the door on her head. I think we're going to check next door. And then we are going to call it an episode. And I think I'm going to leave us in this building. So that when we start next episode, we can loot from the start. And then build at the end of the episode. I like this. So since we're here, we're just going to eat. I mean, can we... Okay, yeah, we can eat this, even though it's not cooked, apparently. We're just going to get some pie. You know, who doesn't love some delicious pie? You know, she's been working her tail off. Should we grab some of this stuff? I don't know that we need any of that stuff. We take these, though. I was really hoping, like, the store would have, like, good stuff. Look, Dad, that good stuff. None of that pussy skull. All right. You can name me what that movie that is. You get a high five from me if we ever meet. So, you know, name that movie in the comments section. Okay. So we're going to finish the episode in this store. If you like this episode of Project Zomboid, the story of Shirley Jackson, please consider joining the Rhombus Rebellion because I have several other episodes I think you'll enjoy. So consider clicking the subscribe button below. And if you want to help other people find this video as well, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. And if you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Tell me why. I'd really appreciate it because I do want to get better and the you knows are going to start going away. And guys, I really hope next episode, I don't forget that we're in the store and panic. So we'll find out next week. Talk to you guys later. Peace.